Hey buddies, some nuts guy here. Hope you're having an awesome day so far, and welcome back for another Dawncraft tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about storage systems in Dawncraft, and there is one storage system that is kind of cool, but also kind of finicky and annoying, so I'm going to teach you guys how to use it. It's called Cloud Storage. That's what the mod's called. If you want to check out the items from Cloud Storage, you can type in at Cloud Storage into your JEI, and it will show you all the associated items. This is an interesting storage system, and the way that it works and the way that you have to set it up is a little bit confusing, so uh, hopefully we can clear that up for you today. Basically, you've got these cloud chests, and then you put a balloon in the cloud chest, and then you put other chests down, and then you put balloons on those chests, and you send them up to the sky, and then you can use the chests in the sky. You can access them all from one chest. Right now, I've sent one chest up. I've sent several other chests up a little while ago. They take some time to get all the way up as high as they need to be to be accessible in the storage. Like several minutes at least to get up there um, which is part of the reason why it's fairly annoying but the system is also designed whereby you can have different color clouds uh, different color balloons so different color associated cloud storages so say for example i put down this cloud chest i'm going to put a purple balloon in this one and then i'm going to put down that's a crafting table and then i'm going to put down a couple of chests here and I'm going to put purple clouds, uh, purple balloons on these chests. And they're going to float their way up really, really, really high into the sky. And then I will be able to access those three chests. So right now it says no cloud inventory with this balloon color. Once those reach the maximum height, then I'll be able to access those three chests storages from this chest here. And this one I'm currently able, only able to access one of the chests that I've sent up as the other ones are still climbing. And it takes, it takes a while. <laughs> it takes a while to get them up there. So the question is, how do you get these items, right? Well, it's actually quite simple. And conveniently, the structure that you need to find for these is fairly common up here at Cloud Heights. So that's one of them right there. And then I believe there's another one over there. Yeah, and these are the two different types of structures we need. And I didn't actually put this here just because these two were here convenient like literally I went over there and I found there's a few more over this way uh, that I had found I even put waystones on them yeah there's one there's one of the balloons and then just after that is another one of the cloud little temple-y looking type things that's not even the one that I thought it was there's another one this way I think basically they're very common so to get up to this height, to get to these uh, structures, you're going to need obviously a ton of blocks to get yourself up here. Recommend a bucket of water to place down so you can easily get back up if you fall. A paraglider so that you don't die if you fall. And then essentially to, well, you can get cloud chest this way. You can literally just get this cloud chest and this has some loot in it as well. So you can grab some loot, balloon pieces. This is one of the pieces that you're gonna need to make balloons. So balloons are crafted with balloon pieces, and balloon pieces are gained by killing bad loons, who are these guys. And bad loons are actually really easy to kill. I mean, I'm just using an iron sword and they pretty much get one-shotted. And they drop balloon pieces quite frequently. Now this chest will have loot in it. You can grab that loot and then you can grab the chest and you got one of your chests. However, if you want a bunch of these, you can also craft these with cloud blocks and a chest. And how you get cloud blocks is over here. So in these structures, there's various different types of these. You'll get these bloviators spawning. Bloviators are a pain in the butt. They kind of blow you off the map. So if I'm a survivor, they just kind of blow you around. They don't actually do any damage unless it's raining. And then they turn into like lightning ones and they zap you with lightning. So that can be a pain. So try not to be here while it's raining. But yeah, otherwise they just try and blow you off. If you kill them, they basically split like slimes. And then once you kill the smallest variants of them, they can drop. Don't always, but they can drop cloud blocks. But you can also just farm these cloud blocks really easily. They're just one. Oh, oh, shit. As I was saying, the cloud blocks are just a one one tap, uh, <laughs> one tap, and then you can farm them up. And you only need eight of those to make a cloud chest, and you probably won't need that many cloud chests. 
and there's also cloud blocks in here and then obviously you can take these these this chest as well i did farm these i took the i picked up the spawner with silk touch on another one of these structures and i had an observer over under it and then the whole structure blew up uh, so just be aware of that if you're trying to mine the uh the the uh spawners to farm them elsewhere and I don't know about the bloviators, I'm going to assume it's the case, uh, but the spawner was limited for the bad loons. So on another structure where I sat and I farmed them for a bit, the spawner disappeared after a certain number of kills. However, I got quite a few uh, balloon pieces uh, to make if quite a few balloons anyway. The bad loons aren't particularly scary either. They just kind of like come over here with this little hand and just kind of slap you a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> and they're very easy to kill. Hmm. It appears my red balloon chest is bugged out because I've sent quite a few chests up for it. But the purple one now has a lot more storage. So as you can see, we've got a lot of storage in here now. We can scroll through. We can search through it. We can sort it. Uh, it's quite a quite a bit of storage. I'm not exactly sure how many chests we sent up. Um, but, uh, but yeah, quite a lot of storage in this one. But this one doesn't have all that storage. So I think this one's bugged out. I might try and reset this one. Maybe it's because I logged out before they got up there the first time, so it's now just being a bit weird. Either way, this one is working now that I showed you at the beginning. And uh, you can obviously make these a whole bunch of different colors if you want to color code your different types of storages. And I think that is pretty much everything you need to know. It's not the most intuitive storage system, but it's kind of fun. You can also get balloon parts and things from uh, certain villagers in villages. You'll find a balloon stand, which will look like this, and it'll have balloons attached to it. Uh, and then you could, there's a villager that you can buy balloon stuff from there. And that, ladies and gentlemen, is how you can set up a storage system in Dawncraft. If you enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. If you'd like to see more, consider subscribing. And it's always great to see you in the comments. Hope you have an awesome rest of your day. Take care. Some nuts guy. Grab gaming by the nuts.